DeKalb County investigators want to track down a driver who hit a woman on the side of I-85 and then took off running. Within hours, that woman died at Grady Memorial Hospital. Tonight, her family tells Fox 5's Rob Durienzo they pray police find that driver. DeKalb County Police confirm they are looking for the driver of that truck. 31-year-old Jasmine Gaither was standing on the side of I-85 southbound after she had gotten into an accident. That's when police say a truck came flying in her direction. After the driver struck her, police say he then took off on foot. Jasmine was a lot of things. She was very creative. Jasmine Gaither's family wants the driver who killed her tracked down and arrested. That driver hit her as she stood on the side of I-85 after she had gotten into a wreck while riding in her friend's car on Friday night. It was like another car accident started to happen at the same time. This, this, this truck was just swerving like I could hear it, and it was just like coming towards us, and I was yelling Jazzy name, but she was by the trunk. DeKalb police say the driver of that truck jumped out and took off on foot in the area of North Druid Hills. When the cops got there, they started doing like this manhunt ASAP. I don't, they didn't find him. Um, he ran through the, through the woods. They still haven't been able to find him. Medics rushed Gaither to Grady. When we got there, they said that um, she had already not been breathing for too long. And um, the, the trauma that, um, that it caused to her brain, it was like too severe. Just a few weeks from her 32nd birthday, Jasmine Gaither was pronounced dead early Saturday morning. What makes this loss even more crushing for the family? They just went through this same exact thing with their mom, hit and killed by a car in late October. We were upset with that and we didn't feel like there wasn't anything being done. And now for the same thing to happen to our sister, it's like, why doesn't she have a story? DeKalb County Police confirmed to Fox 5 that they are still looking for the driver responsible for taking Jasmine's life. They would not release the suspect's name, adding that the investigation is open and ongoing. Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.